Hi, my name is Leo. This is my state machine project for Mechatronics. This is my state transition diagram for the circuit that I built. As you can see shown before you, there are three states, which is the circle, and then we have the events, which are the lines. So the first state is my LED off. My LED will turn on when the light sensor senses light. Once the light sensor senses light, the state will be LED on. The room light on slash timer on is an event. Once my timer is on, the LED is on, and when the timer expires, it switches to manual mode. While in my LED on state, I have a ultrasonic sensor sensing if my robot or if something gets too close, another light turns on. And I can show you in the next slide. This is my state machine circuit diagram. This is the diagram of the circuit that I built. As you can see, I have three LEDs, each with resistors connected to pins in the Arduino. And as you can see here, pin A0 is connected to the light sensor. Pin three and four are connected to the ultrasonic distance sensor. It's applied by power with the Arduino and it is all one common ground. You'll see a photo of the circuit in the next slide. This is the photo of my circuit. As you can see, the green LED is on. Let me show you how this works. So here is my circuit. I'm going to reset all of this. Here's my light sensor. It will automatically start with the green light on once this senses light. The clear light seen in the middle will light up when something gets too close to the ultrasonic distance sensor. The red light will light up when the timer expires. Let me show you. I'm resetting it now. The sensor is sensing light. In five seconds, the green LED turns on. Green LED is on. Now, it middle lights up. Now, the red light is on, meaning that it is in manual mode. It's important to note that typically it would be 60 seconds in green light mode. In this case, it was six for sake of demonstrating. My first state is LED off, which is not shown. My second state is LED on. My third state is manual drive. These states can be switched when an event happens. For example, the timer expires, manual mode goes on. Or another example is the light sensor sees light, switch states. Or this doesn't switch states, but this could be an event. Something gets too close to the ultrasonic distance sensor, LED light up. This is the end of my presentation of the state machine project. Overall, you could say that it is very important to know how states work and how events work so that you can program it and make life easy.